fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. What the goddamn hell, yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league. What did I say? Like. <laughs> comment and subscribe if you are new. Welcome. To Let's go. All right, listen, y'all. Um, today we about to get into this video. I don't know who gonna be into this, but I really don't care. I'm starting to do videos for me. You know what I'm saying? For my soul. You dig what I'm saying? This couple right here, I love them. I don't necessarily even know their real names, but I know they own sisters. One was on sisters, and one he worked with Tyler Perry too. But um, I love their relationship. Like they look very, very nice together. So I just want to know how they fell in love on set. All right. If y'all not interested in this video, you know, y'all could just go ahead and go watch another one. But I want to watch this. All right, let's get into it. Oh, that was a very, very nice job, Sky. And one of your cast members was like, is Sky the only person you see in here? You said, I said what I said. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At the airport, we were getting ready. To All right, so Sky Alvester Black and KJ. To load up for season two, but I was um, recording the experience of going back to season two, and I saw you, and I was like, we're ready for season two, and I'm with this guy, what's your name? I said, I'm Sky. I'm Sky Black. Uh-huh. I said, who do you play? And you said, Jacoby. And I said, well, what do you do this season? I come in and I <laughs> shit up. <laughs> <laughs> My heart went, doo doo. Doo -doo. Oh, now I remember. I remember now. <laughs> I watch Sisters. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really into Sisters. Uh, I, sisters. And, Tyler Perry has sisters and he has brothers Um, as a series. You know what I'm saying? I love Sisters, but now I remember who he was. So did they I just, go to oh, they hang out with together, one like, of my castmates mm -hmm. while we were in quarantine, and you were walking to rehearsal, yeah. and I was like, hey, how are you? And um, I say this all the time, and we had our first actual conversation yeah. for real, yeah. privately, away from everybody else, and yeah. not on camera. And we started talking about family, and you did the girl woman thing where you put your head to the side. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and I was like, and I did the guy thing where I was like, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. And then so we stayed in that position. It was weird because yeah, we didn't know what like, to do. Right, it was it's like, like we know we like I wanted to like, pursue more, but at the same time, like I felt like I gotta keep my job, you gotta keep your yeah, job. Yeah, I was like, oh, um, there's something there that we be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I, that's that was the thing I remember the most. Like out of all of our interactions leading up to it, that's when I was like, oh wait, this is different. We didn't start dating until after Sister Season 2. Yes. Okay. What was it like it making was. the transition from that moment to the romantic special moments? I was actually a little shocked that I was still in your mental orbit. I was like, yo, if you need... Yes, mental orbit. What? <laughs> I was actually shocked that I was in your mental orbit. <laughs> what the? Okay. <laughs> if you need some help, I like, bet for her to hear that she just melts like I hate that mental orb. <laughs> like, yo, send me your number, and then I called immediately. It was like, dun, dun, dun. I was like, <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that been horrible? First of all, and then you corrected me. I it. corrected it. And then I you called, called you, you immediately. Immediately, and um, we stayed on the phone for three hours. We were talking about our your Be like um. That. Um, the passing of your father, the anniversary was coming up. 
which mm-hmm. allowed me to be open because I immediately said, hey, I know how you feel. Yeah, because, then we talked about your Yeah, father because passing. my father passed. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a transition because we both were so intentional. I'm ready for something real and you're ready for something real. So let's build something real. That's dope. I think they're so attractive together. I don't need all this music. I don't need this music. I was going to <laughs> not date anybody for a year. I remember you said that. When did you at least tell mama? Immediately. I told her after What's our first date. I, this, I don't know this. After, after the first date? Yeah. What? It was the best date in my life. Yes, I called my mom and was like, Mom, I'm getting married. <laughs> what is the easiest thing to love about me? And what is the hardest thing to love about me? The easiest thing to love about you there's a unspoken loyalty that means a lot to me and that's the easiest thing to love about you the hardest thing which is a good thing is that um i have to take accountability for my shortcomings you call them out for my growth the the thing that makes it hard is that you have to search yourself and say yes i I need to work on this yes i need to work on that he knows how to word things and on time with the wording, you know what I'm saying? Like he he knows when to say it correctly. You know what I'm saying? He's just very cautious with his words. I like It's that. hard because you force me to take self in inventory a lot. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cry? Yeah. You don't mess up your makeup. Oh no, come here, baby. Oh mm-hmm. no. The fact that she really it's cried. It's Damn true. women. <laughs> What is the easiest thing and the hardest thing to love about me? The hardest thing is that, like, you're such a giver. Yeah, whatever, I just gave so and so and da 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 da. And I, no, nah, man, you know, I felt it on my heart, to, to, you know, and it's just like, <laughs> baby, but you needed that. <laughs> like, that's nah, fine, I'll get another one. Like, it's just like, it's just this giving spirit that you have. Sometimes it hurts you. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and sometimes your head gets heavy. Woo! My two don't have me in this eye like a crowd, <laughs> I've slowed down, y'all. Don't worry. Don't feel bad for me. Mm-mm. When I tell you, the giving part is at about a 20. <laughs> 20%. Yeah. Sometimes that's hard, you know, to watch. So many easy things. Your honesty, you just are like the most persistent consistent loving person i have ever met in my life that makes me feel good you should that makes me feel good i mean um my dad was like that so my dad's my hero i know so um thank you baby oh Ooh. onions up in here ain't it's um yeah someone onions? cutting onions yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the engagement, oh, he really proposed to me. What Girl, who were didn't know? you feeling? What were your feelings? I was talking to my grandmother and my family about um, how do I do this? How do I make it special? <laughs> Cut to we get to Miami, mm-hmm. and we have all our family. We have both of our families together, and mm-hmm. it's this special event. I got nervous the moment I started speaking. I've always felt the fire of of my dreams going for me. And now I have the fire of building something for a person I'm so beyond in love with. Like, um, I started thinking about my dad and my dad wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just saw it and yeah. I was like, you know, I was just like, I didn't realize how deep my love is for you. Like, I know I'm completely a hundred and times a thousand percent in love, but it's just like, I understood the definition of soul. They accommodate each other so well. Soul mate and soul tie. And then I, I started to get nervous. I, I, I was shaking. Like, I, I remember it and I was like. And I was like, what's happening? Yeah, and I was I've like. I've never um, seen you like that before. I, it was the first time, one of the first times in my life where I felt like it was life or death for me. Mm-hmm. I am like, I know my baby, and I know that something's wrong, but I was just trying to gauge it before making an announcement, like, mm-hmm. we have to go to the ER <laughs> right now. <laughs> we have to go to the ER. Right. What did you feel in that moment? I just remember 
being worried about you. And so I was like, he he's stressed out because all he's doing is this. <laughs> Before I knew it, that ring was out and I He was trying to remember his words, I guess. Was like, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt warm and fuzzy. Rapid fire emotions. It was just love everywhere. I was like surrounded by love. So how do you envision our wedding day? And how do you envision five years from our wedding day? It's going to exceed our expectations. Life is different when you do it with a life partner. That's right. Five years from now, that's an empire at the rate we there go. 100%. How do you envision your wedding day? How Can I get you... my notepad? <laughs> How do you envision us five years from Scroll, now? Scroll, swipe, swipe. <laughs> It's gonna be either two things. It's gonna be the most grand thing that I can conjure up, or um, because of our schedules, it may end up being very intimate mm -hmm. and very small. But it's certainly gonna be full of love. It's gonna be, you know, my, my motto is stay lit and stay woke. So, you know, five years from now, I feel like we'll be in a nice little groove. We'll yeah. definitely have, you know, Ideally, we will start a f have started a family. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm excited um, to be a father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm excited to be a mom. And still loving each other, and oh, still that's, spending that's... quality time, and still have a fire and passion that's, for each other. Right. Tyler Perry might as well go ahead and prepare for a baby roll child for her. Because uh, I can only imagine after they meet each other, the uh, like Tyler Perry's and the, you know, um, people that produce these, you know, series and stuff be like bro y'all couldn't wait huh <laughs> you know what i'm saying like damn i already had a five-year plan for us to do it this way but wait, it's fine it's fine just throw a baby in there good question i think that's what's important like you know life happens but it's still this and that empire's gonna be there how does it feel to love a black woman incredible i was raised by a black woman you make me feel seen in this career choice, in this day and age, that is something that I never thought I would have. Transparency, you know, my cry. mom wasn't in my life. I didn't think I would have anybody after my grandmother. <laughs> it's, it's the best thing in the world. Aww. You're the best thing in the world. It feels incredible. You are Damn! Great. You were on my makeup. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching Unbothered. Where are we going? Food. Food. Food first? Immediately, yes. Immediately, yes? Yes. Cool. And then, Jim. Oh, you worked You worked out. I did. <laughs> so I get up at five. Damn. It'd be to get up at five for me. Girl, if I need to work on anything, it's getting up at 5 a.m. I just don't feel like I'm a 5 a.m. person. Well, how do y'all feel about that? But anyway, let me know how you feel down in the comment section below. I love this. This was amazing. Y'all let me know what type of videos y'all want to see. Please subscribe. Like this video. Like this video. Comment and subscribe if you're new. All right. What the goddamn hell? Yeah. Hell yeah. Where my outro at? Of course it didn't come up. Hold on, I got y'all, because you ain't about to do me like this. <laughs> you ain't about to do me like this at all, actually.